Okay, Wednesday morning, June 5th, and uh, we barely got any rain last night, so back in the field, which is good. We can get something done. It's supposed to be raining here by uh, 2 o'clock, 30% chance, and then it increases from there. So we're going to keep going, try to get this corn planted. This is the same field I took the drone shots in last night that you would have saw in the previous video, and uh, did not finish it last night, quit about 11, and here we go again. And just gonna check some uh, seed depth here. So we're planting approximately inch and three quarter, two inches deep, I would say. And uh, everything looks pretty good. It's packed down in there nice, but uh, good moisture down there at that level and uh, corn should pop right up. to the best of us. That was not planned. Okay, so uh, right after lunch here on Wednesday, and I'm just about done with this field. 
and uh, what I call their south farms. Uh, we got all the corn in except for one field. We started playing that field a couple weeks ago, and it's pretty wet, and they had to quit. Uh, I've worked it and stuff, but uh, anyways, um, we can't get into that field because a little shower went through this morning and hit that. So uh, we're gonna move uh, corn planter about 12 miles north of here to another group of farms and get planting up there. So uh, anyways, made a lot of progress the last couple days. Corn planter going, both soybean planters going, and uh, so forth. So got a couple fields up there already worked, so should be good to go for a little bit. And uh, right now, it don't really look like it's gonna rain, just a little cloudy, but that can pop up and just have to wait and see. Okay, I'm gonna fill up with diesel fuel here before I head north. But uh, anyways, everything's done down here except the one field, like I said. So get some diesel fuel and head north. Okay, so I'm not on here to preach safety or anything, but uh, when I drive a tractor, I know you're supposed to wear your seatbelt all the time, which I do in a, in a motor vehicle when I'm going up and down the road. I always have my seatbelt on, but in the tractor, I seldom have a seatbelt on in the field, but when I'm going up and down the road, I do. I know we're not going super fast, but uh, just with uh, traffic and stuff, people getting hit uh, from behind by a car, or a truck or something like that so uh, yeah when I'm going up and down the road I always remember to throw my uh, seatbelt on on the tractor so anyways that's my little safety rant for the day so stay safe everybody some soybeans that never got harvested last year so uh, the last couple days I really haven't been more than a couple miles from my house this is the biggest road trip I've had here I'm probably about 12 miles into it but what I'm seeing so far uh, a lot of stuff getting planted still a lot of wet spots but uh, a lot of no-tilling going on looks like a lot of guys are just going in right now spraying it and planting it so there's a lot of no-tillers in the area anyways but i'm um, seeing i uh, just looks like this year a lot of people are just farming ugly but uh it works so they're getting their sprayed getting it planted it's all getting done and uh i don't know what it is now probably 2 30 or so and it's not raining yet so we should be able to keep on trucking keep on planting i mean Did you guys see the video I put on YouTube of uh, two John Deere tractors, a 9420 with a planter and a 9570RX with a field cultivator? Uh, I filmed that last Sunday in the only dry field I knew of in Dark County. And that field is right over there. That's where I did that video. I am just coming into Palestine, Ohio right now. So I come up 127 north uh, turned on us route 36 heading west coming into palestine and i'm gonna go north in palestine and then a little bit west and i'm just gonna be a few miles from i'll be just a few miles from the indiana state line uh field we're moving to here now look at that field of corn i mean i know part of it's drowned it out but they must have got that one in early uh, that's one of our fields that's planted into soybeans, so, yep, work in progress. Almost to my destination, so there's a pretty good looking field of winter wheat. And I just noticed I lost a lid off one of the seed corn boxes so I'm gonna be in trouble when I get back here with the boss uh, I know it's somewhere between uh, 
Palestine in Route 36. I look back when I send my pass, I've seen it flop up in the air, or I can see it in my mirror. So uh, hopefully there's a truck back here. I can run back and get it. And it didn't get run over and demolished. And there's some soybeans that got put in early. They're coming along. This is the field right here. We're gonna be planting. This field got worked clear back like April 12th or 13th. So we had a couple dry days there a little bit early, but anyway, that's when that field got worked. So we're just gonna plant right through it and spray it. The boss man's gonna plant and I'm going back to look for the lid that I lost off the planter on Route 36. Okay, so I found the lid that uh, blew off the planter here and it looks like it got run over. But uh, yeah, I think I can buff it out. If it don't buff out, uh, nothing a little uh, rubber cement and duct tape won't fix. Okay, uh, it's clouding up up that way. There is a thunderstorm watch, but uh, you know how that goes. It might rain somewhere and not here, or here and not there, but we're gonna keep planting. Okay, getting rain on the windows. I looked at the radar, it looks like it's north of us, but uh, anyways, keep going here a little bit until it gets worse. fertilizer the pop-up fertilizer has uh, been giving me fits here been getting a little bit of crud and stuff in the orifices and been cleaning it out I've been fighting that here the last couple rounds uh, number one was causing all the problems yesterday and now today uh, it seems like it's sprinkled a little bit which should have nothing to do with it but then several of them started acting up so uh, I'm working on 
cleaning them out and stuff the filters clean I got good pressure I just see some of them aren't uh, the floaty thing is not coming up as high as the others so anyways uh, looks like the rain might have missed us for now looks like a system went north and uh, see a little bit of somewhat clear skies so happy planning Okay, it's raining enough that the water or the mud's starting to stick to the planter, so we're gonna quit for right now. See if this passes and the sun comes back out. As it turned out, we ended up getting two tenths of an inch of rain, so not too much, but uh, did not want to get caught at one end of the field or the other. Well, it started raining, so it was a good decision to park here, and uh, it was about 6 p.m., so got to quit a little bit early and shut the planter down. Went home and come back the next day and everything was fine. Finished this field off and moved on to the other and that video will be coming up next. Thanks everybody for watching.